Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Вы на канале «Русский язык с Пумой Месси». Всем привет! Здравствуйте! Hello, dear friends! I welcome you all to the channel Russian with Puma Messi. And today I invite you to visit Messi's book club. It's a very interesting story. And I thought of it because of the video that Masha and Sasha posted this week. And it was about the brush that they gave to Messi and to Gerda. And Messi loved the brush. But there's something else that happened during this uh, video. When Sasha, at 6 minutes 18 seconds, started reciting children's poem. And I thought it would be a great idea for us to take a closer look at that poem and the author who um, wrote that poem. Because that poem and that also means so much for Russian speaking children around the world, no matter where they live. Like I live in the United States and I grew up uh, with those uh, poems and I know those poems by heart. The moment Sasha started reciting it, I was like, oh my God, this is another opportunity for us to take a look at Russian literature. And the name of the poem is Мой да дыр. There is wonderful English translation and it's translated wash him clean, wash him clean. Мой да дыр, мой да дыр, мой да дыр. Wash him clean, wash him clean. This is our book club. I welcome you all to the club. Let's go. Щетка, щетка, a brush, and Messi is saying, моя щетка, моя щетка, my brush, щетка, щетка, щетка. This is one of the most difficult letters in Russian alphabet to pronounce, щи, 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 щи. and then letter Ё. All together, it's kind of not easy to pronounce the word. Щетка, щетка, щетка. Моя щетка, моя щетка, my brush. Мамина щетка? Хм, не знаю. Моя щетка. Mom's brush? I am not too sure. I don't know. It's my brush. Мамина щетка? Хм, не знаю. Моя щетка. Мамина щетка? And here we are once again meeting the possessive case of Russian noun. Remember, mom, mother, mom, and then we have the suffix in. And the ending a ah, because it's the feminine uh, gender. Mami na shotka. Mami na shotka. And that's what we get the possessive case. Mom's brush. Mami na shotka. Ni znaju. Maya shotka. Because when Sasha is brushing Messi, and uh, he's saying, that's mom's brush, you know, you can have it. And Messi is saying, mom's brush, mommy na shotka. I don't think so. Не знаю. I don't know. Это моя щетка. Моя щетка. And now we are at Gerda's. And we remember that video where Gerda really, really loved that brush. Gerdina щетка? Hmm, не знаю. Моя щетка. Гердина щетка? Не знаю. Моя щетка. Герда's brush? I don't know. My brush. My brush. And look how we have possessive on the proper noun. So the proper noun is герда. Герда. And then we have suffix in 
And we are getting Gerdina Shotka. Same thing. This is a possessive case of the proper name. And we get Gerda's. Gerda's possession. Gerda's brush. I don't know. I don't know. Gerdina Shotka. Не знаю. Моя щетка. Моя щетка. And this is the moment I was talking to you about. If uh, I'll give you the link to the original video I'm talking about. Uh, Sasha is giving, presenting Messi with the brush. Then I'll give you the link to the cartoon also. And I encourage you to wear that cartoon in Russian. So at the sixth minute 18 seconds Sasha start and recite and try to release on it and try to hear what he is saying and then read the uh, the script for that rhyme Да здравствует мыло душистое и полотенце пушистое и зубной порошок и густой Гребешок. Да здравствует мыло душистое, и полотенце пушистое, и зубной порошок, и густой гребешок. That is the poem that Sasha, just like that, switches into the mode of reciting of the greatest things that he keeps in his mind and he introduces, gives us a chance to take a look at Russian literature. And let's go to the next slide. And this is translation. I'm going to give you also a link to the full translation. This is the poem, it's a short one, and the cartoon is about 16 minutes if you would watch it because it's very very uh, beautifully drawn it's a drawn cartoon drawn cartoon and um, you probably you will have lots of fun watching it and here is a translation hooray for towels and sponges hooray for soapy foam hooray for snow white toothpaste hooray for brush and comb it's really very very good translation and um, it's not an easy job to translate poetry and i don't envy those translators because it's a hard hard work i mean you can translate a novel fiction or something it's it's a little bit easier but you have to be a poet in your own language in order to convey the story which you are trying to from the target language to your native language so let's go to the next and this is our writer, a poet, Корней Чуковский. Корней Чуковский. Корней Иванович Чуковский. He died in 1969 and he was born in 1882. And he is one of the most popular children's poets. I'm telling you, generations and generations of Russian kids and now Russian speaking kids because we have all those different countries that speak Russian uh, that, that are no longer Russia. They still grow up with the, these poems because it's, it's just so easy and so catchy and so wonderful and the kids of all ages, including myself, love his stories. And yes, he actually invited his characters, absurd characters, and he is being translated, I mean, compared uh, with the American children's author, Dr. Seuss, all the time. And actually, it's um, uh, not that far, um, the comparison is not that far-fetched because uh, Karnit Chukovsky also translated from English into Russian some poetry. And uh, he adapted the Dr. Dolittle stories into a book-length Russian poem as a uh, doctor, I believe. Doctor, oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Doctor, I believe. Doctor Dolittle. So, uh, the other poems by Chukovsky is Tarakanishe, the monster cockroach. Krokodil. The crocodile, telephone, the
the telephone. And мой дадыр, мой дадыр, wash him clean, wash him clean. And мой дадыр, that was Sasha was reciting, мой дадыр. In Russian, try to read this, мой дадыр. Мой дадыр is 1923 poem for children. It's about a magical creature, but the same name. And the name literally translated wash till holes. Wash till holes. And the common English translation is wash them clean. Wash them clean. So it's мой uh, дадыр, one word. When I was little, so мой дадыр, мой дадыр, one word. And then growing up, you realize that it's actually three words in one. It's мой. It's imperative of the verb to wash, мой, до, it's a preposition until, till, дыр, it's genitive plural for a whole, дыра, дыра, мой, да дыр, literally, wash till you get the holes of cleanliness, that everything, that you scrub so hard that person, that you uh, can make holes in the skin of that person, but at least that person is going to be clean. So, that was our book club today. I hope you enjoyed the visit with our author, Karni Chukovsky. And uh, you will enjoy watching the cartoon Moi Dadir. And this is the character, how it was drawn in that, um, that cartoon. So, Moi Dadir. And the word of the day was Shotka, Shotka, a brush. And we know that Gerda, being a girl, she is a girly girl. She loved that brush, and Messi being a manly man, the pum, самый лучший пум на свете, he just played with it, and he was saying, that's a nice tool, that's a nice brush, and it's моя щетка, моя щетка. I'm wishing you all happy Friday, and I'll see you very, very soon.